in our previous video we were discussing how to capture or to be very concise when you're writing a career profile summary for a project management CV and in this video we are going to dive deeper into the CV itself just to understand how best to write a CV for a project manager role. Join me in this in this discussion. My name is Mary Amondo in charge of training and career advisory services and I'm glad to be joined once again by our CV expert Ruth, thank you so much for joining. Thank you for having me. Yes. We are talking about how to write a CV for a project management role, mm -hmm. for a project manager role. Yeah. Yes. And um, in, when, we, when you're focusing on the proficiency of a project manager, are there any project management methodologies that needs or is a must to be captured in mm. a project manager CV? Mm. Okay, when it comes to the methodologist, we have a couple, but I'm just going to name a few. Mm -hmm. We have the Agile, the Waterfall, the Prince 2, the Scrum, the Six Sigma. Mm -hmm. And when it comes to these methodologists, it's not like mandatory for you to include them there because we say mm -hmm. you need to include them in your CV. Mm -hmm. You also have to be able to use them. You have to be proficient in them in a way that when you're called for an interview and you're asked, are you proficient in agile? Are you proficient in waterfall? You'll be able to explain yourself. Mm -hmm. Don't just put them there because we say it as a project manager, you need to include these methodologies. Mm -hmm. So you need to study them well. You need to be an expert or proficient in them mm -hmm. before putting them in the CV. Mm -hmm. And if you are not, just put the ones you are able to apply and the ones that you are able to do. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Of course, all these met methodologies comes as, as a result of based on the experience yes. that someone has had. Mm -hmm. Interesting. How then can job seekers uh, be able to showcase the impact of their past projects mm -hmm. or even initiatives in their project manager's CV? So the first thing you have to consider as a project manager, the recruiters have to see some of the projects that you have been able to oversee. So a project management skill is not the same as an accountant CV. An accountant CV, it's a lot of wording. But for a project manager, you also have to put examples of the project you have overseen. Mm -hmm. If it's one, two, three, just put them there. So the first thing is the examples of the project you have overseen. Uh, use metrics, quantitative metrics, as I said. Mm -hmm. under, under metrics, you have budget size, cost savings, so for the budget size, let's say, for example, you oversaw a, a project where you're supposed to build a building, a five-bedroom five house, for example, and the budget for that house was five million, and you are able to use three million. In that way, you are able to save you're able to save around some money million. around two, you're able to save some money and you also you you, you used less than the budget you had mm -hmm. so now you have to include the budget size the budget size was five million and the cost saving you saved two million in that you have to include that mm -hmm. and also the customer satisfaction was your client satisfied with the project was the customer satisfied with the end project mm -hmm. You also have to highlight some of the awards. Maybe the project you oversaw, you won an award for it or it was recognized somewhere. Mm -hmm. You also have to include that in your CV. Mm -hmm. It gives you a higher chance of getting an opportunity somewhere compared mm -hmm. to someone who has not included that. And the potential employer is able to see the impact. Yeah. Great. In a project manager's CV, I know the ability to be able to lead teams or even manage projects on time mm -hmm. And, and even managed budgets needs to come out very strongly. So what are some of the ways into which a candidate can be able to showcase this in a CV in a concise manner? So for that, you have to describe how you are able to lead a cross-functional team to achieve the project goals. Also describe how you are able to manage the budget. Describe how you are able to allocate resources to your team members. Also describe how you are able to finish the project, that is the project duration. Mm -hmm. If the project was supposed to start from 2020 to 2024 and you are able to complete the project by 2023, uh, that's what you call the project duration, include that in your CV. Mm -hmm. An example I can give you, you see these people who build uh, these rental houses in mm -hmm. Nairobi. Mm -hmm. You find maybe a project manager has been hired to oversee that project. And you see those houses, they take like only two years and they're already completed. So you ha for them, they are, they are able to manage, the, but they are given a budget for that house 
let's say it's a seven seven floor apartment mm -hmm. they are given a budget for that and they are given a duration for that building to end and also they have people to manage mm -hmm. these the ones who carry stones they have people to <laughs> they are okay so you call them the the mjengo the people who do the mjengo <laughs> no they have people to manage in that project mm -hmm. we have resources they have to allocate certain resources for the project to be completed and when they they are told i need this building to be completed by 2024 and you are given like only one year because maybe the owner of the building wants people to to start living there so he can return his money back so you as a project manager you have to be able to use everything that you have to make sure the project is completed mm -hmm. by that time mm -hmm. or before that time mm -hmm. Like yeah. the team that you have, the yes. budget that you've been yes. given, the timeline that you're working mm. with. Mm -hmm. So you have those are some of the things you have to put into consideration mm -hmm. for you to complete a certain project. Mm -hmm. And also when it comes to a project management, project manager, we cannot say like it's a full time thing. You are given a project. When you are applying for that role of a project manager, that means maybe the organization they have a project that they need you to oversee so the time duration is very very essential because they will be able to see if this person was able to finish this project by this period of time mm -hmm. that means this person will be able to finish our project by this period of time it will not take long mm -hmm. so in short it's better to be very specific yes. especially when mentioning the timeliness mm -hmm. and the budget and, and the budget yes and even the number of people that yeah. you are working with in that particular mm -hmm. project yes because you see this organization for their project, maybe they say we only need like 10, 10 people to work on the project and now we need a project manager. So those are 11. So you have to be able to know how am I going to lead 10 people to complete this project, uh, the budget I am going to use, the timeline, the duration. So that's how they, you have to be very specific with those things. Wow, yeah. quite a lot. I know mm. when someone shares their CV, you are able to have this discussion with yeah. them so that you capture the correct thing in the CV. Thank you so much for sharing, Ruth. You're welcome. Great. It is important to always get it right when you're working on your CV for whichever application that you're sending out and ensure that you bring out your ability to lead teams, your ability to manage uh, the budget for different projects and even the ability to complete those projects on time when you're working on your CV as a project manager. That is why we encourage you to share with us your CVs. We'll be able to take you through the review and to provide insights on areas that needs to be adjusted if there is any. Feel free to subscribe to this YouTube channel, like the video, share in the comment section the topics you'd want us to cover, and we'll be glad to have them in our upcoming videos. We look forward to seeing you in the next video. Thank you so much for watching.